Hi guys, welcome again to our new episode today for Super Bauchi Kitchen. It is a very delicious recipe. It is an oxtail stew or kare kare. It's famous for Philippine plates. It's one of the finest Philippine dishes, okay? Uh, our eggplant there. Of course, we have our bay leaves. We have our soy sauce. We have our shrimp paste. Any brand will do, and this is your fish sauce. This is one piece of banana plantain, and this is a bamboo shoot. You can also use banana shoot, but I, I like bamboo shoot better. It blends with the taste of the peanut. So, this is our garlic. This is our anato seeds. So, our red granulated seeds. I'm going to take it out here so that you'll be familiar. So that's the anato seeds, okay? That's how it looks like when you get it in the market. And this is a teaspoon of sugar. And this is our pepper, of course, and our sea salt. And we have an optional sauce mix if you want. I'm just showing this to you, but we're not going to use this today. That's the Mamacita brand I'm using. It is peanut sauce mix. You can get this at Walmart or even at any Asian market, okay? And we have the bok choy, the fresh bok choy. And we have also our onions, just spring onions there. And we have also our white onions, of course. And we have our beef oxtail. Look at that. The beef oxtail is a very young oxtail and I, I choose the best one. You can see it in the looks of the oxtail guys if it is an old one. So you choose the best one so that it's soft and easy to make a broth, okay? And it will easily tenderize. And we have of course the pork feet. Look. So that's the pork feet. It's only $3.87 for one whole package. And for today, I only use one pound, and that's two pounds. It's not that bad. So this one is a pork hock cut. And look at that. It's two pounds. Over two pounds, it's $4.27. The only expensive one here is the oxtail, which is the beef oxtail. If you notice, it's $9.17. And I'll be utilizing all of that because it's very tasty. That is actually our front liner of the dish because this is an oxtail stew. And I'm going to focus more. This is the kare kare sauce. Or the peanut sauce mix. The ingredients is at the back. This one I got this in an Asian market and this one is made in the Philippines. So we're making an original Filipino dish which is kare kare or peanut sauce mix. These are our wonderful ingredients. I'm gonna first step is I will be So these are all our ingredients. See how gorgeous they are. And guys before I forgot we overlooked our string beans. They're very long okay. This is the Asian string beans. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. And we're gonna just be getting like five pieces of this one, like 100 grams, okay? Uh, two, four, six, we'll take six pieces for the string beans to add it in our recipe for the oxtails too, okay? Okay guys, so what we're doing here right now is we're bringing to boil in a pressure cooker all the three kinds of meat. So we have the pig's feet, we have the beef oxtail stew, and of course the pork hunk, okay? So we're gonna bring this to boil until they are all tender in our pressure cooker here. Roughly, we will do this for like 45 minutes. Okay, so what you're going to do while you're doing this, you can leave it on with the pressure cooker, set the pressure cooker, and you can also watch TV and just let it whistle until it's done, okay? 
So this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna be making her tender and leave the original broth. So take a look at that. She's already boiling and I just check it and she's already almost halfway to be tenderized. I transferred her from our pressure cooker because our pressure cooker is kinda small. And I will put her back in the pressure cooker when we finalize our cooking, okay? Take a look at our vegetables here and our spices. This is the banana plantain. This is how I cut it and steal the anato seeds and the sugar and the green onions, the white onions, and of course the garlic. And this is how the length of the string beans I cut. It's pretty long. Because whatever the size of your meat, it should correspond to the size of your spices as well or your vegetables. And I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna show you the trick of our eggplant. We have to soak the eggplant in water while you're waiting for, to cook it so that she won't discolor. Okay, that's heads up. And then this one is our bamboo shoot. I already um, cut them. And of course, our bok choy. This bok choy, guys, is the bok choy good for soup. There are two kinds of bok choy. The other one is the bok choy that is good for steaming, like steam in garlic in Chinese dishes. The steam garlic soy sauce bok choy. This is not the one. This is the bok choy that is actually corresponds to like a cabbage um, species, okay? So that's very delicious for the kare kare. And this one is, of course, our soy sauce and, of course, our fish sauce. And I love to add the our bay leaves because it it's more delicious and smells, the aroma is so good. And, of course, our shrimp, our shrimp there, shrimp paste, and, of course, our pepper. Okay? So, we're going to mix them all together shortly. I'm just waiting for our meat to tenderize. So guys, look at this. We're gonna s we will be doing our spices already. We will be sauteing our spices. So the first step is we're gonna drop some oil there. Okay. So use the virgin oil. Perfect. And you're gonna put first. I will be placing our onions. I'm very particular with the onions because of the smell. So. Some people doesn't like it, so I have to saute it for a long time. Okay. After the white onions, I'm going to bring the green onions here. These are the steps to make it delicious and so that it won't be burned. Like some people add the garlic first and it will be brown. So it will taste ugly if it's burning taste, you know what I mean? Okay, looks like she's golden now. You see the green onions turns a little brown. So we're gonna add our garlic. Okay, place our plantain, okay? The plantain, guys, takes a while to soften, so we have to put it here first. Like just a half cup of water. Okay, there you go. So that's a half cup of water and bring it to boil because we need the plantain to melt, to, to tenderize, okay? So we're gonna wait for that to boil. Okay, so after you place the plantain, you're gonna place your bamboo shoot, okay? Bring it to boil and we will add after Adding all those ingredients, we add our bay leaves. Oh, it smells so good now. It's starting to smell good. And we're gonna add our sugar taste. And we're gonna add now our anato seeds, okay? Anato or anato seeds. You see the anato seeds? It's all there. It's gonna change the color to red once everything is melted, okay? So that's the transition of the color right there. 
we're gonna bring this to boil for a while if you need more water you can add another half a cup of water which I'm gonna do that and we'll let it boil until it turns into reddish color you see the transition of the color because of the annatto seeds and all the seeds are still there it's gonna make it more red uh, red orange and then we're gonna be adding some peanut butter I use the peanut butter crunchy which I got from Walmart I'm gonna use all of this so it's basically 220 grams okay I'll mix this all together so if you see I added a peanut butter there I continuously mix it you just keep stirring it it's so delicious smell now oh look at those look at that so we're gonna wait for it to turn red orange more and we're gonna be adding our salt and pepper so that the salt and pepper will blend with the taste of the mixture so take a look at the mixture it's so gorgeous it smells so good so we're gonna add our fish sauce yummy and of course our soy sauce we'll not be adding the vegetables yet because we're waiting for our meat to tender okay we're gonna keep stirring until it's boiling until the plantain is already okay and we will add the meat here and add our vegetables it smells so good in here again you can use this you can use this Mama Sira's peanut sauce mix kare kare grab this in Asian market if you don't wanna buy the if optional this is optional if you don't have peanut butter or if you don't have the annatto seeds but since we have the annatto seeds we don't need to use that I'm just showing the difference how Philippines do it their way. They mix that kare kare mix immediately. And I do what I'm doing right now is I'm starting it from rags. Okay, so if you notice, I put the shrimp paste here. It depends on you if you want it salty. You have to try, you have to put it slowly. So I added shrimp paste there to make it more tasty. And this time I'm gonna add our I will add our eggplant okay and let it continuously stir and boil okay it's so gorgeous now look at that okay guys so take a look how, how gorgeous is that what you're gonna do if you're not eating all your kare kare for today so you just get a few pieces of meat so that you can warm this up so like this you see that you grab one piece of meat and put it here soak your oxtail so delicious since they're already tender you mix them all together and you're going to add your string beans okay you add your string beans if you're ready to eat everything we made a lot look at our meat so it's still a lot it's still plenty so and then you're gonna add your bok choy you're gonna add a few bok choy there and that's ready for serving it's so good So the vegetables are fresh and you're gonna cover it for a minute and everything is done it takes almost an hour because of the meat to tenderize but what you can do if you're prepared to do a kare kare you can also do it ahead tenderize your meat the night before this is just I'm showing you how to make a perfect kare kare the elegant way the clean way and the most perfect way and the Filipino version way okay 
guys, look at our dish for today. Our episode for today is the kare kare. Look, it's so gorgeous. Again, thank you for watching. Super Bauchi Kitchen is another lovely and very worthwhile episode from Super Bauchi Kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's in comments below. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. I'm going to devour my food right now. This is our finished product. It's so elegant. Thank you. Bye, guys. And look at that Super Bauchi Kitchen prepares for you. A great entree. A special tea from Philippines in the most elegant top-notch dish in Philippines which is kare kare oxtail stew in peanut sauce you can serve it this way and you can also serve it with a lovely shrimp paste on the side look at how gorgeous is that isn't that amazing guys Enjoy our beautiful worldwide famous dish from Philippines, the kare kare oxtail stew in peanuts.